Greetings everyone. Hi, uh, this is Pastor Song from Lighthouse Global. Today I just wanted to come online because I really felt that the Holy Spirit strongly encouraged me to deliver this word. This is a word for women specifically and I really have been in my heart to really minister to women for a long time. I just feel like that's something that the Lord's given me as a mandate and a mission. But today I know it's kind of a surprise I'm recording this on Lightbeam East Coast, but I will release this uh, on the YouTube channel. This is a specific word for women for now, and it's been in my heart since this morning, and I felt like I wasn't going to actually record this, but then again, I just felt like the Holy Spirit prompting me to release this word. And the phrase that I have for you is, this is a word for women who are between rock and the hard place. You know the, the expression that says, I'm between the rock and a hard place, meaning like you're kind of stuck and you don't know what to do and you feel like the whole world is against you, uh, you really can't do anything about the situation that you're in. The hopeful word, uh, declaration from the Lord and a hopeful word for you today is that, um, deliverance is coming. God is coming to you as a deliverer. So I declare this word over you and I'm praying that I asked the Lord why I need to record this online and I felt like God said it's because there are some women who will be watching this video and who will uh, experience deliverance through the video. So I declare uh, deliverance over you in Jesus mighty name and the kind of things that I saw you know I, I I know that uh, with the pandemic and everything, with people, especially for women, they felt like they were stuck uh, in a house uh, in an abusive situation for a very long time. And I hear the Lord saying that there's deliverance coming for you, those who have been living under oppression and, and um, abuse in an abusive relationship for a very long time, but you didn't know what to do. Well, God is coming to you fresh with greater power to deliver you from any and every situation that you thought were impossible. The word that I have for you is Psalm 33. I'm gonna read Psalm 33, 16 through 22. So I'm gonna read this verse and declare it over you because uh, some of you just feel like your help isn't there. And it says 16, no king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all its great strength, it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait and hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Let me go back to verse 18 and 19. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine, to deliver them from death. In the name of Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus right now, those who feel like they are threatened uh, almost to a point of death, those women who are stuck in a, in a relational cycle, who are stuck surrounded by men who threaten to kill them, those who feel vulnerable right now, deliver them from death right now in Jesus' mighty name and keep them alive in famine, not only alive, but I pray for thriving for these women in Jesus' mighty name. So I release this word over you in Jesus' name. I really felt like God said, this morning I woke up and the Lord said, uh, some, a lot of, not just some, but a lot of women, a lot of women are under a threat of their lives, feeling like um, they're between the rock and the hard place. And the vision and the picture I had was that men in their lives were using the word of God, the Bible, to religiously hit their wives with, uh, with religious spirit, with anger, and a lot of the women felt like uh, they couldn't escape a situation because the word of God was being abused against these women. And it was almost like the, the men were using the word of God to uh, bind the women, to, uh, to put them down, to bind them, to imprison them, to uh, teach them in a condescending way, and put their value down, make them feel miserable, make them feel guilty, make them feel less than. And I just saw like a religious spirit coming against true freedom of women. And I wanna to speak to you, if that's you, I just want you to put your hand on your heart. If, if there's been men in your life who have used the Bible, used the word of God uh, in an abusive way and kept on uh, telling you scriptures of how you are to submit to the, to the husband or submit to certain authorities, when you knew that this person was being abusive to you, I want, to, I want, to, I want you to put your, hand, put your hand in your heart and I wanna pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the spirit-inspired word of God will come forth 
forth within their hearts, that they would have strength to break free from these abusive relationships, that the word of God for them will come alive. And I pray for discerning of spirits. I pray for anointing and the true anointing of the Holy Spirit to come upon these women in Jesus' name. God is saying to you that the, the, the him who is in you is greater than the one that is, that is outside of you, that is against you. The Holy Spirit that resides within you is greater than the things, spirits that are around you in Jesus' name. And I pray for opening of your eyes to see that what these people have been doing against you was not of God in Jesus' mighty name. So I set you free in Jesus' name. I pray even right now, as I pray, I pray for angels to surround us, and I pray for protection against these things in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for a blood of Jesus to cover every woman that's listening, every man that is interceding right now. And I pray for eye-opening experiences for the men of God to see that maybe they've been doing things wrong. Maybe they weren't using the word of God in the proper way to set people free. Jesus came here to set people free from sin and bondage. Amen. Jesus Christ came here to set everyone free, men and women, from sin and bondage. He didn't come to use the word of God to beat your head and say, you got to do better. You got to be better. You got to do this and that. So I just break you free from these things in Jesus' name. Things that came against you that were not the spirit of God, but that deceived you in Jesus' mighty name. So Father, I see these um, women who felt vulnerable, these women who felt helpless, who felt like their legs were stuck in between rock and a hard place and they couldn't get out. I see God sending down uh, like a rope, uh, uh, a rope to for you to hold on to, and he was sending help from heaven. And I saw like those rescue helicopter type of things coming down and sending uh, sending you a rope so you can hold on to it, and even angels coming down to assist you to come out of that hole so that you can grab onto this rope and be uh, delivered to a safe place. So I pray, I, I believe that in the next three months you'll be transported to a safe place. I pray for safe houses to be to be uh, prepared for these women. I pray for uh, these ropes to come down. I pray for angelic help to come. I pray for human help to come. I pray for deliverance to come from every direction. In Jesus' mighty name, God is saying justice is coming for abused women. Justice is coming for women who have been, had to be silent. Justice is coming for women who have been oppressed. Justice is coming for women of domestic violence, a uh, target of domestic violence. Justice is coming for women who had to endure through 20 years of marriage, not being able to say anything. Uh, justice is coming for women of color. Justice is coming to women in this hour in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Father God, I pray for all the women who have hope in you, Lord Jesus, that you are, you are their help and their shield, in that you their hearts rejoice in you and they trust in your holy name. I pray for trust to be restored. For some of you women, you're so worn out by these situations. Your trust has gotten thin. You don't even trust God with this word. Even as you listen to it, you're like, yeah, Pastor Song, that's good for you, but not for me. But God is saying, I'm restoring hope in you. I'm restoring trust in you. We trust in God Almighty. He's able to do all things. There's no threat around you. So even those people who are a target of human trafficking and people who've been uh, abused sexually, who feel like their life is ended, I bless you with a new life in Jesus' name. May hope be restored upon you. May you have dreams and visions about your future that is magnificent, so much better than what you have now. I breathe hope in you, women of God, in Jesus' mighty name. And God is saying to you, he's going to give you some prophetic dreams so you can repent of some of the things that you did in the past where you kind of compromised to get into these a cycle of bad relationships. He will show you how to get out of it on your own. He will show you how to pray on your own so that you can get out of these certain situations that have bound you for years. Some of, these, some of the women have been bound for years and the Lord is saying to some of the women and the mothers right now, you must get out of these situations because you are doing this for your children. If you don't get out of these situations, your children will have to bear the sins of your uh, compromise. They will have to carry the burden of your indecisions. Your child, you're doing this for your children and your children's children. So I bless you to have a shift in your perspective because this isn't all about you. Getting out of these unjust situations, getting out of these abusive situations, dealing with men who yell at you, scream at you, that take advantage of you, uh, make fun of you, that devalue you, that treat you like trash, that throw things at you, that abuse you, that hit you, that send you to hospital because of domestic violence and you couldn't really disclose it. The, the church pastors who didn't agree with you, who actually sided with your husbands and abusive uh, men in power who sided with the men, didn't really give 
anything to what you had to say. God is saying help is coming for you. In Jesus' mighty name. This month is a month of deliverance. God is saying deliverance is coming for abused women. Deliverance is coming for those who are vulnerable. Deliverance is coming for women who have been beaten. Jesus sees all of it. He's on your side and not on their side. In the name of Jesus, I declare this word over you. That God is on your side, not on their side. In Jesus' mighty. He is for the vulnerable. He is for the weak. He is for those who have been abused. He is for those who cannot speak. He is for those who have waited and hoped. Who he is for those who have been long suffering. He is for those who have been patient. He is for those who have been praying. He is for those who have been underdogs in the system in Jesus' mighty name. So I declare this word over you, over ethnic communities, communities of people of color with African American women who had to deal with these violent African American men who were captivated by the Ahab spirit, but they accused you for being a Jezebel. I break that curse off of you in Jesus' mighty name. A lot of men who carry Ahab spirits, they mistreat their women and they are immature, but their immaturity kind of led you to be independent. But your independence also brought a lot of accusation and then falsely accused you of being a Jezebel. I cut that off right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for a divine reversal. God is affirming you to be a strong woman of God. God is affirming you and blessing you for the ways that you had to earn money for your children. The ways that you had to release uh, your strength and pray and depend on God to to take care of your kids. God is blessing your children. The Lord is saying he's going to give you spirit of courage and determination to be able to break free from these things. And he's going to anoint you uh, to make decisions for your children and your children's children. So God bless you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I feel such an anointing upon this word. God said, release this word because there are many women who are between rock and the hard place. They don't know what to do. And literally they need the deliverance from the Lord because they have been waiting and they didn't want to sin before the Lord. They kept pure hearts and they did not want to uh, do anything to harm people. And you had good hearts. You had purity in your heart. You wanted to trust in the Lord. You wanted to do it God's way. And God says, my way is coming for the deliverance of women. Deliverance of women who have been oppressed in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. So, Father God, I pray for anointing upon this word. I pray for deliverance, power, blood of Jesus to cut off every soul tie. Cut off every, uh, de demolish every rock that has been placed upon them. The rock and the hard place, these hard things that have kind of squished these women. I pray that you would demolish them by the power of the word of God and the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray that your, your rope will come down. You will send angelic assistance. You will send SOS teams. You will send rescuers from heavenly realm to pull them up out of these situations and bring them to a safe place in Jesus. Mighty, mighty. name. God is able. God is able. You hope in the Lord. And you're, he is your shield. He is your help. He will come for you in Jesus' mighty name. So I release this word for you in Jesus' name. Bless you.